Hey guys and welcome to yet another SD Gaming video and in this one we're gonna take a quick stab at Impossible, published by Gremlin Graphics in 1990. And I've never played this one myself before, it's actually one of my patrons, Keblerg, that recommended me this one. Uh, he thinks it's pretty good so uh, I'm just gonna have to find out for myself, won't I? And I'm reasonably optimistic, the game is designed by Core Design, who made Rick Dangerous 1 and 2 and Switchblade 1 and 2 and a couple other pretty good SD games. And I'm actually the only person in the entire universe that doesn't like Rick Dangerous. But hey, <laughs> I'm gonna be optimistic anyway. And Impossible Mole is actually part of the Monty Mole series of games. That was a 8-bit series of games that was primarily released on the ZX Spectrum. I think there were four different games. It was also released on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. And what all of these games have in common is that they are incredibly hideously difficult platform games. I still remember at least three of the games had these crushes that would come down from the roof and turn you into a pancake covered in lots and lots of red jam. And the timing of these were just completely random. You had to rely on pure luck to get past them. And I just despised them. <laughs> and in general, these were just super unforgiving platformers. So I was not a fan of any of them. So when I heard of Impossible back in the day, I was just like, nope, not touching that one. But let's just uh, dive in and see if it's any better than the 8-bit Monty games, shall we? Okay, here we have the music. This sounds a bit like uh, Rob Hubbard's original Monty Mole music on the Commodore 64, actually. The music has been done by Barry Leach in, uh, in this game. Oh, it's a more upbeat version. Yeah, this uh, sounds pretty good, actually. Let's just press fire, and yes, we can actually select a stage, that's nice. We've got four stages we can start off with and we need to complete, I think, all four of these before we can reach the final one, which is the B Bermuda Triangle. But let's just start out in Klondike. Yeah, I'm rather liking the music here. So we can kick this bat. Oh yeah, we've got a kick attack and I think there's weapons in this game as well. Like rocket launchers and stuff. Oh God, that's a very resilient skeleton. Yeah, the graphics looks pretty nice. It reminds me of... Uh, uh, Rick Dangerous. <laughs> I don't know, it's insane or I'm insane for not liking Rick Dangerous, right? But I just don't. I don't like the cheap deaths. I, I just don't. I'm sorry, I've always hated that. Oh, I can chuck things. That's interesting. Why? Maybe I picked up a weapon? And of course, we've got arcing... an arcing um, projectile arc. <laughs> oh, man. Would you flip and die? Are you kidding me? I, I bombed the face of that bat about 50 million times and nothing happened. All right, he's obviously invulnerable. Just run past the bastard. Have we got some... Oh, what? Get up, get... Um, that's interesting. Could you please get up there? No, I can't. Do I need to jump from here? Apparently I do. Of course I do. And oh, God. Get... Eat... Eat a foot, bat. Okay, I can't attack you. All right, fine. <laughs> uh, Spelunker. Can I kick you in the... In the nuts? Maybe not. Uh, why do I have an attack if it doesn't work on most of the enemies? Uh, I'm already somewhat annoyed. <laughs> but okay, let's, let's just not mess with the bat because... I can't kill it. Oh... Okay, let me guess. Let me just figure this out. I can't jump off... No, I can't properly jump off a rope. That's just great. And I've got this pathetic jump. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Can I kick the wombat? Nope. <laughs> oh, and I think this is the high score music from, from the Commodore 64 version as well. Really nice, uh, nice tune by Rob Hubbard. Game over! Final scene, Klondike... Yeah, okay, let's just try this again. The loading is pretty damn lengthy. So I've actually made a snapshot and it's interesting to note that this bat I can actually kick and kill. Whereas the others somehow are completely impervious 
to my smelly mole feet. And yes, this is a mole and I can't get out. All right then. Oh, there's bombs behind. Okay, fair enough. That's where I picked up the bombs. I'm learning stuff. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 don't. Oh, what am I doing? Why am I... Can I control the mole in midair? No, I can't. Once I decided to jump forward, I can't control him in midair. That's... That's fun. Do I want to pick up that barrel of sludge? Suppose I should. I'm not sure what the story is. Oh, God, I still can't jump off, right? Can I bomb your fa- Oh, I haven't got bombs because the bombs are timed. That's annoying. <laughs> ah, death to the wombat. Ah! Oh, God, I- Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's not terrible so far, but it's not great either. Um, okay, let's see if we can do things here. No, oh, I can't jump from... Oh, really? I can't jump from rope to rope? That's great. Thanks a bunch. That's amazing. <laughs> well, Spelunky this ain't. Get up, get... No? Oh, God. Can I karate chop these bats? No, of course I can't. Oh, this is... But there's a gun. Let's go grab it. Oh, it's a rocket launcher, apparently. And since my weapons are timed, let's just quickly carry on. And annihilating everyone. Die! God, they've got... Oh, the... The crushes. But these... They don't seem to be random, though. So that's nice. And what the... I think I can time this. No, I can't. I'm gonna take damage anyway. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely... Well, it definitely reminds me of... Um, Rick Dangerous. Which is not a good thing in my book. But hey, it, it's not awful. It's at, le at least it's easier than Rick Dangerous. Because that game was pretty damn forgiving. Can I jump up here? I can, kinda. Let's just fall down. And hopefully... Survive! Oh, okay. Is that making some sort of progress here? No, what the what the frick is? Oh, get up! I'm climbing the stupid. Oh man! Yeah, I can already say this is not my kind of game. I'd rather play Spelunky one or two or whatever. Ah, uh, uh, God! Oh God! I hate the fact that I can't control the bloody mole in midair. I really, really don't like that. <laughs> yeah, all right, and there's a bat up there. I don't care about you. Why are you puking out stuff? Bat, and why can't I just bloody get up here? Oh my god, this is so annoying. I... Mm. Get up. Get up! Yeah. Stand up there and jump. You... Oh, man, this is just... This is just... Uh, I... I hate this. Yep, I hate it, if you haven't already realized that. <laughs> but let's just go to the Orient for a bit and see if that is any easier. I'm gonna say no. Oh yeah, this looks uh, a bit familiar. Hmm, wonder if I've seen this in the screenshots. And what are you doing up there? Oh, yeah, of course. You're gonna punch me in the face with a rod? Okay, fine. I'm not gonna go up there then. Oh god, is that a stereotypical Chinese person? Or, sorry, Asian person, maybe. Would you hate me too much if I kicked you somewhere where it hurts? Oh, I think I... yeah. Hit detection is a bit odd. Does that kick really connect? Hmm, not sure. I noticed that he's got a cape on. Would it be too much to ask to, um, to be able to fly? Yeah, and I noticed a little bit of an interesting detail. In the 8-bit versions of, at least a Spectrum version, whenever you turn right, the mole hasn't got an eye. As you can see, I'm missing an eye here too. And I always kind of assumed that was maybe a bug. But maybe he's only got one eye. And I don't think a mole has any eyes at all, do they? Well, never mind. Here's Bruce Bloody Lee. I'll kick you right back, Sunny Jim. Let's just carry on through the the slow forest. Wow, that's super slow down there. What's going on? Is it like computer can't handle all these bamboo things? Yeah, it must have been that, or maybe it's just 
yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. But there's a, a lot less enemies than in the other world. Oh, God. Can I bomb the crap out of that origami bird? Well, never mind then. Oh, yeah, I still get slowed down. Maybe it's because the grass is just very sticky. Oh, hello there. Ah, you Super Mario wannabe enemy bastard. Apparently bombs don't... I mean, clouds don't care about bombs. Ah, oh, the origami bastard. But get away from it, you horrific, annoying paper thing. Let's go to the Amazon because, yeah. So far, I really like the graphics of the game and the, and the music. But gameplay? Uh, maybe not so much. Can I get up there by the way somehow? No, probably not. Let's see if I can jump this filthy snake. Oh, of course not. It's just something about these platforms. I just can't be bothered to time the jumps. It's just, I don't know, something deeply unsatisfying about them. I mean, I love Spelunky. I'm, I do like platforming games. I love Manic Miner, for instance, but there's just certain types of platforming games I just do not like at all, including this one. <laughs> uh, okay, hit detection seems maybe a tiny bit off. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to ignore that banana, whatever it is, and just carry on here and see if I can maybe try and focus a bit. Oh. Colibri bastard. Kick the monkey before he stuffs a banana down my face. Okay, that worked. Much better. See, if I'm trying, things are going a little bit better. It's just I'm not motivated to try. I just don't like this, I guess. Spikes are bad, right? Yes. Oh, God, what? Mm. Are you going to stick your tongue out? Tongue on mole action. Ah, uh, nope. Apparently I can't. Oh God, it's ah. Oh. All right, Iceland. Here I come. Dunker Kniever and all that. Come to Iceland, they said. Enjoy the hot springs and the beautiful girls and the lovely time. They didn't mention anything about a murderous snowman or whatever that is. And look at that random behavior. I hate random behavior in. Platformers, I really do. Can you just jump up? Mm. Can I? No, I can't jump on the rail. He's obviously kind of detecting me and getting a little bit upset. So can I kick you? Well, kinda. Let's just stand back so I don't stick my nose in that snowman's crotch too much. But then, of course, I can't hit him. Uh, let's get up here. Am I even hitting you? I don't know. Do I even care? I'm not sure. And there's a my screen because that's always nice when it's 25 degrees below zero. Well, to be honest, you can always eat ice cream, right? In my opinion. Doesn't matter how cold or warm it is, an ice cream is never wrong. And yeah, I'm talking about ice cream instead of murdering those Vikings, maybe? Or let's just call them stereotypical Icelandic inhabitants, shall we? So, nope, I am not enjoying this one at all. Sorry, Keblerg, but I bet you knew that, right? You bastard. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's just something about these lazy platformers. I just can't be bothered, as I said, to even try. It's just... Uh, no, it's not fun. It's just annoying. I don't want to even try and get anywhere in it. Have a karate kick to the face, Mr. Viking person. Stop chopping my face up. Oh, God, more Vikings or whatever that is. Is that really a Viking? I don't know. It doesn't look right. Oh, God. Kick you, I will. How am I supposed to... Am I supposed to jump back and forth and kicking that thing before... Or to avoid taking damage? Or what? Oh, is that a... It's not a penguin. What do you call these? A puffin? Yeah, I think it's a puff. Oh, and then I slid off. Because ice is so much fun in a platformer, right? <laughs> Can I kill the puffins? Of course I can't, because they are obviously impervious to bombs, feet, and other mole-related weapons. I mean, look at this thing. Look at it. It's just uh, not having it, right? 
Oh my god, I... Oh, I don't like this. Have I mentioned that? Maybe a few times? Alright, sorry. All this game does is making me want to play Spelunky 2, really. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh god, I hate this back and forth to kill enemies. It's so annoying. Why do you have a million bleeding hit points? Come on, Bruce. Show yourself. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and defeat this guy in a proper fashion by kicking him and jumping back and taking about a week to get it done. It's just I haven't got the patience, all right? Especially when it's not fun playing the game. I hate faffing about with this kind of stuff. Just let me kill the enemy in one hit or something like that. Oh, it's so much more fun. Don't, have, don't force me to waste my time. And God, the slowdown is... Yeah, it's got to be the grass, right? Those damn weeds! Can I climb up here? Yes, I can! So I can obviously... Come on, climb. Okay, I can do that. So I can jump like that, and then jump like that. That's amazing. So I can avoid the deadly origami crane. No, I can't. Oh, God. Sorry for trying to do that. That's obviously not going to work ever. Oh, God, I hate these. Oh, there's a tracking origami bird here. And I can't kill them. I can't kill him. He's just constantly going to track me. And what the hell is that? Is it... Oh, God, die! What am I supposed to do? Hit it a million times or something? <laughs> There's actually more loading in this game than gameplay. Which uh, in no way, shape or form is making this any better. Let's go back to the uh, Amazonian forest of violence and uh, see if we can get anywhere here. Because, yeah, it's, it's a second stage. It should be a little bit easier. No, I need to jump that thing, of course, and then kick it some... Some more, about maybe 50 million times. And why am I jumping that way? Uh, yeah, this is definitely not my cup of tea. It's just not... Oh, ow, of course. Sorry about that. Can I get up here quickly? Maybe I can just get... Yeah, they don't turn around. That is... Oh, God. That's that's great. What are you What are you doing? Don't, don't be like that. Don't puke out pips in my face here. Oh, God. The, the bird... The bird! Oh, the birds! I hate them! <laughs> nope, uh, not liking this one, and uh, I'm not really in the mood for this type of game today either, so I'm just gonna call it quits and have a look at, uh, I think, one or maybe two reviews of the game, see what other people thought. ST user gave the game an overall of 79% and uh, they wrote As platform games go, Impossible Mode is well above average. Graphics are cute and feature instantly recognizable sprites, and the sound, which opens with a brilliant Ben Daglish remix of Rob Hubbard's Monty on the Ranchu, is of a similar high standard. But the main gripe is that the game is just a little too difficult. No sooner has Monty started to make progress than all manner of aliens swarm to attack him, and unless he's armed, Monty doesn't stand a snowball's chance in hell of surviving, and yeah, I have to agree with that. Definitely too hard, at least for me. And interesting that they say it's Ben Daglish that's done the music, because I think it says Barry Leach on Atari Mania. Maybe they were both involved, I don't really know, but it does kind of sound like Ben Daglish when, I, when they mention it, to be honest. Computer and video games Paul Rand gave the game an overall of 70%, and he writes... Impossible looks and sounds very jolly, but at the end of the day, it just doesn't have anything special to make it stand out. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much true as well. It's pretty much standard platform fare, but I mean, yeah, tastes do differ. Personally, not a fan of this. I'm sure there are other people that rather liked it and also were much better than I will ever be at playing this game. So with that, I'm going to say thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and also, as always, hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers!